everyone. It is day 23 of Savor at Home and we are tasting a bourbon today. We're actually going with Blanton's. Where's the label? There we go. Blanton's. This is a bottling selected by Old Lightning. So I picked this up before uh, Old Lightning closed um, this week. And uh, Blanton's is the and it even says it on the label, the original single barrel bourbon. Um, so Blanton's was released in 1984 and every single batch comes from one barrel at a time, which is really cool. Um, so this is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It means it made, it's made entirely in Kentucky of at least 51% corn in the mash. Uh, they don't disclose, Buffalo Trace doesn't disclose this mash bill. Uh, it is mash bill number two, which is claimed to be a one that has rye around 12 to 15% uh, is made up of rye in the mash bill. Um, and it must be aged in new charred oak barrels for at least four years. And there's no age statement on here. So we know it's at least four years old. Um, and so, as I said, it was released in 1984, just before, um, the master distiller Elmer T. Lee retired. Um, and Elmer T. Lee, uh, made Blanton's as kind of a nod to, um, Colonel Albert Bacon Blanton, who he worked under at the distillery. Um, and Colonel Blanton would go around to a specific warehouse. It was Warehouse H, in fact. And you could see if you look at the labels of all the Blanton bottles, they say on them, Warehouse H. Um, and he would pick out what he called honey barrels, which were in the center of Warehouse H, and they ended up being his favorite barrels. And he would serve them for... Um, uh, you know, friends and family, and when he was entertaining uh, important people. Um, and so uh, Elmer T. Lee released these barrels, these single barrels from the center of Warehouse H as Blanton's, um, as a nod to that. Now, Warehouse H is different because it was built right after Prohibition, uh, the Prohibition repeal. And uh, they had to build it quickly because the demand for bourbon was high and they made it out of metal. Um, and the metal of the warehouse, uh, the temperature changes inside of it a lot faster than if the warehouse was made out of brick, let's say. Um, and that means the temperature inside the warehouse is very similar to the temperature outside in Kentucky. So the temperatures will fluctuate a lot faster and this ages the booze, this ages the bourbon differently in the barrels. Um, and it turned out to be um, Colonel Blanton's, uh, you know, favorite warehouse ultimately. Um, <laughs> bunch of dogs. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so every Blanton's bottle uh, that you'll get is from a barrel that was in Warehouse H. Um, this is specifically from barrel number 151 on Rick number nine. And this whiskey was dumped on December 19th, 2019. So uh, relatively new. Um, and this is also bottle 87. Um, so yeah, the bottles, the labeling's nice and cool because uh, it's got handwriting on it. Uh, so you actually know, you know, what bottle number, what what barrel number and everything like that. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, is there anything? I think that's it. This is bottled at 46.5% uh, ABV and I picked this bottle up for uh, 70 bucks. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. So the nose is a lot lighter than um, typical bourbons. I'm not getting as much of just caramel. It's more of like a butterscotchy thing and like a marzipan. Mm. 
there's a lot of floral notes to this and um, not a lot of pickliness that I'll typically pick up in bourbons. A hint of that, a hint of the butter pickle, but uh, it's got some really nice floral notes in here. And a lot of honey. Yeah, smells really nice. Oh, get a get a look at the color there. The mouth feels a little thin, um, but it's got some good light flavors. Um, it's not as um, just in your face caramel as bourbons typically will be. It's a little bit lighter. There's more honey. Um, there's some good toasted nuts in here, some baking spice towards the end. Um, in the middle it is, it's like this fun marzipan thing, like a sweet almondy, almost like almond extract thing in the middle that's really nice. Um, there's some dried fruits in here as well, so it's pretty fun. It's a, it's a nice bourbon. If you get a chance to pick some up, I recommend it. Um, and there's a little, uh, there's a little horse on the top uh, with a jockey, and there's a little letter right there and you can collect all of them to spell out Blanton's if you so choose. Um, but yeah, thanks guys.